One reason for many flight delays is the need to de-ice. Planes covered in ice can't take off, and the work of de-icing a plane takes some time. Pat Doris at our sister station in Portland explains that process. Here's how it works. Typically, if there's anything falling from the sky, two batches of liquid are sprayed on the plane. They're called type 1 and type 4. Type 1 is a mix of glycol and water. The glycol is similar to the antifreeze used in your car radiator. The publication Chemical and Engineering News reports it has a freezing point of about 9 degrees and it keeps water from freezing until about 58 degrees below zero. The crews try to work fast. Usually when, uh, when the process we have to de-ice, you know, it's usually like one of those, ah oh, man, here we go, another, you know, 30 minute or another hour delay. We try to do it quick, but we, we also do it, we make sure we do, the, we do everything, we do it right and we, we get the job done. The first spray is put on hot, typically about 150 to 180 degrees. It can melt and knock off the ice without freezing onto the plane itself. It's important to get all the ice off the wings and the tail because even ice as thin as medium sandpaper can significantly increase drag and reduce lift, basically making it much harder for the plane to get in the air. So the job of the first de-icing team is to get everything off, returning the smooth flying surfaces. Here's a fun fact, by the way, this is done while passengers are on the plane and the pilots temporarily close all the outside vents to keep the spray from getting into the passenger cabin. Type 1 is often mixed with an orange dye so it's easy to see. How long does it last? Well, it depends. The industry term is holdover time. How long can the plane wait until it has to be sprayed down again? When it's really cold but dry, the holdover for Type 1 is 5 to 15 minutes, according to Chemical and Engineering News. If the plane cannot get airborne that fast, it has to get de-iced all over again. The FAA publishes guidelines for pilots that calculate the temperature, what the weather is doing, what the plane's made of, to figure out that holdover time. Look to the right here for the condition of freezing rain. That's not much time. If timing is going to be a problem, crews will often spray a second liquid, an anti-ice mix, onto the plane. That's what's called Type 4. That is a much thicker glycol mixture. It stays on the surfaces and keeps ice from forming. It does not last forever, though. In freezing rain, experts say even the Type 4 holdover time is roughly 15 minutes max.